the audience that would like to speak against this request? Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? Please come forward and state your name and address. Commissioners, Chair, Bill Nige from 1007 North Patterson Street. Um, I represent the applicant, Terramore Development. Uh, the applicant, as y'all probably know, is a developer of Dollar General Stores. Uh, a property, subject property is currently under contract right now. It comprises a little over two acres of the 11 acre mobile home park, many all of mobile home park. Uh, the property is currently zoned PD, so we're requesting that the property be rezoned to general commercial to accommodate a dollar general store. Uh, this property is within the urban service area, future development maps within the neighborhood activity center character area, which does allow for general commercial zoning. Uh, it's also within the quarter road overlay district, so there are certain overlay requirements after the development. The applicant has complied with those or that have gotten variances for um, one of those development standards, and those have been approved. Um, in addition, uh, the property is going to tie in the county water and sewer. We're actually within a thousand feet of the county sewer, so we've got to run a sewer line across uh, Mr. Simon's property to the west and tie in on that one. Just to uh, address some of the concerns I think some of the neighbors may have. Uh, of course, the one I think my client has always been sensitive uh, to this, as well as Mr. Singletary, the property owner, is that we do realize there are 10 mobile homes, I believe, on this two acre tract, and uh, those tenants are month-to-month -month tenants. There are no written leases with them, uh, so they are tenants at will. Now, given that, um, you know, we knew from the forefront that this was going to be an issue, and so uh, Mr. Singletary has gone out there and met with these tenants, I believe about two or three weeks ago, it was before the Planning Commission meeting, uh, to apprise them of what was going on. And I, I don't really know if he got into specifics with the timeline, uh, because at that point in time, we really didn't have anything in place, didn't know if the, the rezonings were going to happen and all the approvals were going to happen. But I think as we see it now, uh, there's still a due diligence period that we will need to get past on a few other um, site tests and things like that after the government approvals are given on the zoning. And so there's going to be 20, 25 days there at least, and then we're going to have you know another 60 days probably on top of that uh, to get to allow these tenants to find a, a new home. Uh, I do believe Mr. Singletary has five vacant vacancies on the property that's going to remain uh, the mobile home park. And so obviously we'd be able to move some of those tenants over there. But there are four or five that uh, are, are going to have to find a new, a new place for their, their mobile homes. Uh, now that being said, the applicant and the property owner have also uh, agreed to share in some of the cost and the expense to help these uh, tenants relocate, whether it be to the adjacent property or to a new mobile home park. So I don't know if that's something I think Mr. Secretary could convey that to the property owners. Um, obviously, the, the cost to move is going to be different depending on where they go. Uh, but I, I think the agreement is, at least between my client and Mr. Secretary, that up to a certain uh, amount of money you know, that they would agree to share in and help these tenants relocate. So I, I just want to say that you know we're, we're sensitive to the fact that these tenants have been there, a lot of them for probably decades and um, are going to work with them to allow them time to, to find another option. Okay. Um, I think the other, some of the other issues, and Mr. Mr. Moles was the property owner to the south, I don't believe he's here tonight, but uh, he had some concerns obviously about privacy um, that we did address the planning commission phase. If y'all uh, see on the site plan, there's going to be a six foot privacy so on the south uh, property line, the western property line and back, and also the northern property line, so all the way around the property uh, to address some of those privacy concerns of the residential tenants on either side. Uh, and in addition, you know, the parking lot lighting, uh, that's always a concern too. We will 
obviously ensure that that uh, does not spill over to the adjacent properties and will shine solely on the parking areas. Um, uh, you know, the, the road widening was mentioned. The site plan, as it is now, does take into account the fact that this road may be widened in the future. So if it ever is widened, uh, the development sits far enough, enough back to accommodate that. Okay. Um, Got any other? Oh, uh, the side panel that was discussed uh, somewhat with uh, Mr. Davenport and a few of the commissioners. You know, there's the standard side paneling you see in a lot of these Dollar General stores. The applicant has agreed to go sort of above and beyond that and use artisan panels to that really look more like wood plank panels. Uh, from a distance, and of course, once you get up to them, you can see that they're they're machine, they're metallic, but uh, they are a step up from the standard panels that Dollar General does use on their stores, and we think that will be a uh, a better look for this project because um, you're you're going to be able to see the side of the building coming from north and south on, on Highway 41. Uh, the front, the facade is going to be masonry, so um, I don't know if that's on the site. I'm happy to answer any questions anyone may have. We also have uh, Mr. Singletary is here, a property owner, uh, a representative of Terramore Developments here. If you have questions directly from the developer, and uh, Clayton Milligan's here from Mobile Engineering. He's, of course, helped with uh, the site plan and the engineering. So. We have any questions for Mr. Knight? Thanks. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, did you say uh, <clears throat> Mr. Singletary was here as yes. well? I believe Mr. Knight said that Mr. Singletary. I just, I just wanted to know if he's the property owner. Okay. One second. Yeah, you're asking if he's the property owner? Yes. As I understand, yes, Mr. Singletary is the property owner. And I just wanted to know, could he give some type of assurance or, or understanding of the timeline you're talking about? I didn't, he, he said he, could, he couldn't go into detail about the timeline, but I was wanting to know if the property owner could. Okay, we'll, we'll see. Hang on with that just a minute. All right, um, is there anyone else in the audience who would like to speak in favor of this request? Can y'all be asking questions? Please come forward if you want to speak in favor of it. State your name and address, please. I'm Tripp Singletary. I live at uh, 1108 North Lake Shore Drive. Um, would you like to address the question that Commissioner Marshall? About the timeline? Yes. You know, we, we had a meeting out there before the postings went up on the week of the postings just to let them know what was kind of taking place. And uh, we told them that it would be <clears throat> probably sometime in the end of November before, uh, you know, we got through the, the different hurdles with the planning commission, the county commission, that type thing. And that as soon as we kind of came to a decision, uh, the project was going to move forward. You know, then we talked about, you know, 60 days from that point. Um, and like I said, there, there is probably, uh, there's like five vacancies on the other, say nine acres. There's been one trailer out there that's condemned. I think, you know, if the folks that are gonna be displaced wanna stay in that park, I think we're gonna have room. I've got a couple that are behind on rent. I think we're gonna be able to accommodate um, probably eight of the 10 that are there. And we could talk about uh, maybe up to a maximum of $1,500 that we would participate in some of the costs moving, relocating the trailers, whether it was this park or another park. Uh, That's all I have. And we, we had a nice meeting out there at the end of the town. Uh, is there anything here? Any, any other questions for Mr. Singleton? Okay, thanks, sir. 